This might be the single craziest story in aviation history. Back in the 1970s, the United States actually managed to launch a Minuteman 1 intercontinental ballistic missile out of an airborne aircraft. I'll tell you why. You see, back in 1974, Secretary of State Henry Kissinger was heading into the strategic arms limitations talks with the Soviet Union. We now know that as SALT-1. And he wanted to make sure that he had the upper hand in these negotiations. So he went to the Air Force and said, hey, you guys have got just 90 days to figure out how to take one of our ICBMs out of its ground-based silo and launch it from an airborne aircraft. And somehow, the Air Force managed to pull it off, thanks in no small part to Lockheed's still new at the time, C-5 Galaxy. Now, the C-5 is a massive cargo aircraft with a 222-foot wingspan and a cargo bay that can hold 35,000 cubic feet of cargo. In fact, its cargo bay stretches 121 feet, which is longer than the Wright brothers' entire first flight but they would need to be able to carry a lot of cargo to cram an 87,000 pound, 57 foot long Minuteman 1 ICBM inside, complete with sleds to help it roll out the back. As the Air Force started testing, things didn't go well. Using a variety of payloads ranging in weight from about half to close the weight of a single ICBM, a full third of the Air Force's tests failed. But time was of the essence. So on October 24th, 1974, an Air Force C-5 Galaxy took to the sky with an inert Minuteman 1 ICBM on board. They opened the massive cargo bay doors and deployed the parachutes that were attached to the front of the missile but stuck out the back of the aircraft. Those parachutes produced enough drag to pull that entire 87,000 pound missile out the back of the aircraft and then orient it so that the nose of the missile was pointing up and the rockets were pointing down. Once the missile dropped to about 8,000 feet, its massive first stage motors ignited, launching the missile from its position in the sky up past the C-5 at 20,000 feet and well beyond, off to a target area in the open ocean. They had successfully proven that America could launch its massive nuclear missiles from literally anywhere in the world. But shortly after the SALT talks, the U.S. decided to shelve this capability because of a not often discussed element of mutually assured destruction. You see, the Soviets had no way to counter America air-launching ICBMs, and the U.S. knew that that could be seen as a provocation. So they decided to shelve this capability because it seemed like a first strike asset or a means to launch a surprise nuclear attack and something like that could destabilize the equilibrium of mutually assured destruction. Sometimes you shelve capabilities to avoid provoking your opponent. And that's exactly what happened with the Air Mobility Feasibility Demonstration, which was the official name for launching a giant missile out the back of a C-5 galaxy.